What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are doing a review of the USB rubber ducky. Now, first things first, I wanna say thank you guys so much for making these videos possible because with your guys' support with the Patreon, the memberships on YouTube, all that stuff, that's what makes these possible. And because these are not sponsored videos, I'm not gonna give you um, the sponsorship uh, spiel. I'm gonna tell you the truth of what I like, what I don't like, that type of thing. So thank you guys. Um, if you guys are wanting to support the channel, hit that Patreon. The membership is the join button on YouTube. All those things help. Um, also hop in the Discord and help each other out. That's the big, big thing. Now, <clears throat> with this one, we are gonna review the Pro Bundle. That is what I got. And we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. Now the Elite Bundle, I believe was sold out when I bought this. So that's why I didn't get the Elite Bundle, which my dog's playing with the toy vine. Which, Matt, go, go. Which actually has the book with it. So I did not get the book. Now. Let's go ahead and hop into it. When you get the product, it comes in this little... Now, if you guys have bought Hack 5 products before, you know what they come in, right? I've had one of the USB rubber duckies before, but this is the new one that they just came out with, and they've done some updates, and I like it. So, this is the product, that it, or the case that it comes in, right? <clears throat> I will say, I'm not a fan of this, okay? I think it's interesting. I think it's unique. Um, it says USB rubber ducky, looks like a flash drive, and it's kind of got a description. And I get it. It's cheap. It's it's unique. I think it's a little hacky. I don't like it, and that's not a, a pun. I'm just saying I don't really care for it. Um, but it's not necessarily for me, right? It's for their broad audience. So maybe a lot of people do like the little um, you know envelope that it comes in. I don't know. I think personally it should be uh, – should scream – better quality i feel like i feel like this is kind of a cheap way but i think the product's great so i let the product speak for itself now it'll come in obviously an anti-static uh bubble wrap <coughs> excuse me and then you're gonna get the actual usb rubber ducky you're gonna get this card which kind of gives you some links um where to start and then you get these stickers now one thing i'm gonna say do not throw these stickers away because in the past they've always given you stickers with stuff but I always throw them away. And the reason I throw them away is because I'm not going to put a rubber ducky on this. And I'm not going to put a Hack 5 sticker on this. A couple of reasons. One, anyone in cybersecurity sees that, knows exactly what it is. It's It defeats the purpose of, of hiding it, right? So <clears throat> I thought, first thing, let's throw the stickers away, right? But if you actually start looking, so here is the version I bought. And what it comes with here is it comes with the USB-AC flash drive case, which I have. That's this. Um, it comes with the payload studio professional. So this here is a big deal because this is, you'll see. And then you see here, this has 32 page reference guide that came here. And at first I didn't really care for it. I thought it was, uh, not very helpful. Actually, I thought, cause you can see it just says key terms. Well, you probably can't see. And then it shows me how to make a comment and then it, blah, 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 blah. And I thought, well, this isn't very helpful. But as you go through it, you realize it's just a shortcut book. So I thought it would be more of a, here's how to start writing things, but it's just a shortcut book to keep with it. And I actually really like it now that um, I realized what it was because I, at first I was like, well, this just gives me a couple of things, but I'm starting to realize how useful it actually is. So I will say kudos to that. Now, if we get rid of this, um, we'll go ahead and go over here. So here's where the thing I like about this is you can go over here and this is just their payloads and this is on this sticker and there's payloads already created for you. Now, anyone that's used Hack5 knows that. So you can start looking at some of the things you can create versus um, things you can download, right? There's no point in necessarily recreating the wheel in a sense. But one thing I really like about this is the stickers. Let's go back to that. I apologize. I, I'm skipping around. Basically, when the, when you get it, it gives you a it, a website to go to and it kind of introduces you to it and that's going to be right here welcome guide right so the welcome guide this is ducky script 3.0 which is why i got it i wanted to get a new one unboxing quick quack start okay it never knows that and you can see the same thing i told you but the big thing here is the button okay so if you guys aren't familiar with these there's a button i don't know if you guys can hear that but there's a little button in there and basically you squeeze the side and it pushes it. That will turn it into a flash drive when it's plugged in. Now the reason for that is, and you can make it do other things, but the reason for that is so that if you want to stop a payload, things like that. Now the reason I think, 
at first I thought the stickers were kind of stupid <clears throat> was they said, basically, as you can see here, we'll show you guys. Um, this is their method of how to click the button better. Cause when you first get it, if you squeeze it, you don't hear anything, you don't feel it. So you're kind of like, am I even pushing the button? I don't know. Um, and then they give you these stickers and you can see there's teardrops. I put them all on there. Now you can see that what they want you to do is pop the case open and put stickers there to make that thicker to push the button. Now I thought this was pretty stupid. I was like, that's really the best solution you could come up with was stickers. Um, and I have to say I was hundred percent incorrect. Um, I'm not too, too proud to say it. I put the stickers on there and it is a significant difference and I can click it very easily now. And I have to say it was actually an incredible cheap way to do it. So kudos to them because I thought it was dumb. It turned out to be really good. Now payload studio. Now that is over here. That is this. And you can see here, this is the community edition. I did not log into the pro edition. Now, the cool thing about this is I create a Wi-Fi stealer, okay? And I'm going to show that payload here, and then I'm going to explain to you some of the cool things that you can do. So if you guys don't know what a rubber ducky is, rubber ducky is simply a tool that will allow you to put keystrokes. It, it acts as a keyboard, but types extremely fast, right? So I plug this into a computer. It starts running the payload right away. Now, the reason it runs it right away is because it is the computer thinks it's a keyboard, so it takes it as input. Now, with that being said, this is not a tool that's gonna deliver a payload in the sense of you're gonna put it in and a script starts running. This is a keyboard, okay, or a human interface. The reason it's important to know the difference is because if I plug this in, but someone's still on the computer and they're clicking around and they're, it's gonna mess with it. This has to be sitting there, okay? Now, let me show you a cool, what I did here. So this is a, the payload I created. I'm going to plug it in. It's going to start running and I have it delayed so that you guys can see it. So it's not super fast. And this is on my GitHub. I will have that available for, um, pretty much anybody, but I am going to have how I made it and things like that available on the membership of in the, uh, Patreon. So go ahead and make sure you guys join that to see how it's made and things like that. This is not a payload that I downloaded. This is one I created and it's my first payload on this, on this ducky. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we plug it in. Now you notice I'm not going to be touching anything. Okay. If I can get it to plug in here. All right. It's in. I'm not touching anything. Okay. Hands up. <clears throat> now what this is going to do is it's going to run the payload and you're going to see it pop up. You're going to see it doing things. Okay. And you can see my hands are here. I'm not touching anything. So you can see this is a slow payload. I purposely have it delayed so that way you guys can see it. Now this could go ahead and run and you guys, you guys can see it here. You could narrow this down to make it much shorter, much faster. And if you do that, you can see, I obviously have it encoded. So that way, you know, there's a couple of reasons why, and I, I'll explain that on my membership and my Patreon when I'm talking about how I made the, the payload. But you can see here, once it runs, this is going to steal all the Wi-Fi passwords on this computer. So anything this computer has connected to will be saved on the rubber ducky. So once this is ran, and you can see I actually have it set to exit itself, so that way you don't have to um, worry about it. And you can see it's exit. No one knows anything. No one sees anything, right? Now, when I go ahead and I open... Go ahead and move this and we'll go ahead and open our ducky. You can see here's my ducky. Here's my computer. And you can see here is all my Wi-Fi password names. Now, obviously I'm going to go ahead and blur that out. I'm not going to show you guys my Wi-Fi password names, but all of you guys have seen my actual test Wi-Fi. So I'll show you guys the test Wi-Fi password um, on here. Now you can see there's that. And we'll go ahead and close it and we can delete it and then boom. And then we can just remove the ducky. Now, any PC that I go to any windows PC, it will do that. It will run. And you saw how fast it was. It was maybe 30 seconds, right? In 30 seconds, I can have all your Wi-Fi passwords. All I need you to do is step away, go to the bathroom, that type of thing. So check that out. That's a payload that I have on GitHub. I'll put the, the link in the description. But like I said, if you guys want to know how I created this stuff, 
Um, that's in the membership. That's in the Patreon. But I have to say, the 3.0 also has the Seaver, the USB-C, which is really cool. And I have to say, the new Ducky script is really, really nice. Um, again, I have some issues with the packaging. Um, I don't like this. Like you guys can see, this thing just wobbles around. It doesn't. It's not actually like a cover. I wish it would stay like that. Um, I don't. I think it's it's kind of cheaply made, but at the same time, it's not super expensive, so I don't mind that. Um, but I'm gonna. I have to say, the product itself is really good. Um, if I was midway through the payload and I clicked it, it stops. So if someone walks up on me while I'm pen testing, I can click it. It's done. It doesn't keep doing anything. Um, I have to say, it's a really good product. And I'm not getting sponsored by them. I'm not getting paid. This is just something I wanted to try when they came out the new one, and I finally got it in. Um, that was my first payload on it. I'm going to do a bunch more payloads. I think the Ducky script is really cool. You can see here when you go ahead. Let's go ahead and pull it up. When you go ahead and go here, all you have to do is once you type in your payload, you hit generate payload, and then you download it. And then you can download the source too. Now you can see the nice thing about the Ducky script is when you open it. Oh, I don't have it plugged in, but there's a place in the Ducky script for payloads so that you can keep all your payloads there. And then whenever you want to go ahead and run one, all you do is switch it out and name it differently. You name it to inject.bin, I believe it is. And then there you go. You have the payload running. So you can save a lot of stuff on this and it's really, really nice. I personally am a big fan of rubber duckies. I think it saves a lot of time. You can make your own. That's fine. But I think the ducky, um, the ducky script, especially with the payload studio now, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the extra money rather than buying your own. Now, if this thing breaks on me in, in two months, then it's probably not worth it. I'll probably just start making my own because it saves me some money. But if it doesn't break, if it stays solid and it works well, it's worth the money. I think it's awesome. Um, personally, I really like what you can do with rubber duckies and the creativity that you can start to use because it's not just a simple payload. Yeah, you can inject payloads. That's fine. We get that. But think think of everything you can do with a keyboard. I mean, you can change the, where the mouse is located, all that stuff, clicking things. That's fine. But think of everything you can do with a keyboard. You don't even actually need a mouse on a computer if you've never tried it. You don't need a mouse. It's just more difficult but there's buttons on your keyboard that will allow you to click right click all that stuff you can do all of that with a rubber ducky um and you can get really really extensive with it so you could run plug this in and enumerate a bunch of information from a computer you could set up a reverse shell you can do all kinds of stuff and you can do all that simply by plugging this into a computer now the other really nice thing is i have this set in storage mode as well so that way i could save the information to it if you don't have it set in storage mode and you just run it in the uh, default mode, it actually only is recognized as a keyboard. And so if you have USB flash drive type um, policies at your, you know, the customer's company that you're going to be pen testing and stuff like that, you can probably get around them because it's going to recognize it as a keyboard, not as a USB flash drive. So keep that stuff in mind. This is a really cool tool. I think there's a few things it could be if you, I mean, I'm just being critical, obviously, if I wanted it to be perfect, there's a few things I'd work on, but I mean, it's for the price. You can't beat it. Um, yeah. And that's it guys. I, like I said, I'll link the GitHub. That's the payload I just ran that you saw that will allow me to go ahead and start, uh, stealing Wi-Fi. And then you can see the documentation is really good. It gives you how to start writing your own scripts, your first hello world script, all kinds of stuff. So I think it's a really good tool. I really like it. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, if you guys want to see how I created the script and how I um, used it in Payload Studio and um, tested it and all that stuff, all that's going to be in the Patreon and the membership. So go ahead and go to either of those to support. The membership will probably get this video a little early. The Patreon as well. And then um, YouTube will see it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys get yourself a rubber ducky and give it a shot. Start writing code. You you'd be surprised at how fun it really can be um, just doing keystrokes. So thanks, guys.